In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Terra Station wallet so you can play around on the Terra network. And if you've heard anything about the Terra network, you may have heard of the native coin Luna, which has set to possibly moon in the near future and has some great rewarding platforms. And you may have also heard of Anchor Protocol, which is known for its sweet, sweet 20% interest staking rates and some, in some cases, even better liquidity pool uh, stakes going on there too. So in order to get to though any of that sort of staking, those high percentages, you have to make a Terra Station wallet. So your MetaMask isn't gonna work here. And I haven't done this on this browser, on this computer before, so we're gonna kind of be doing this together. We're gonna jump on over and take a look at the actual Terra Station landing page, which is the first place you'll start. So. Again, I haven't done this on this, uh, this is from scratch on this this uh, browser at all, so we're really just starting from the same place. So you can Google Terra, Terra Station, or you can actually go to stationterra.money up here. I know it's kind of small probably on the screen, so I'll have a link for that in the description. One thing that people don't know is that you can actually stake natively within here, and there's actually a lot of mining, a lot of pools here where you can actually stake, but the really fantastic part about this is that if you go to Lunar Rewards, uh, which is sort of a native inside of the Terra Station. This is actually where you can stake your Luna for 10%. It has actually been up before, but it's currently at 10%. So you can just be getting 10% right now, and that's better than a lot of other staking you could do for other uh, coins on other, you know, sort of interest uh, bank accounts out there. So first thing you want to do is kind of click on the wallet, and you realize that you need coins. You don't actually have any connection here. And again, here you go. It's trying to sell you on that 20% or that 19% for Anchor. First thing you're gonna do is you're actually gonna click connect up in the top right hand corner. And if you did actually have one, you could actually do it. But in order to even look at making a new one, we need to install the extension first on the Chrome browser. So that's the first thing I'm going to do here. So we're gonna just uh, add this extension. And this again, this really is, I haven't done this through this on this before, and I've only I've done this on a couple other computers, um, on my other computers that I work with. So we're going through this together. Terra Station, we've actually connected it and we're gonna go back now that the extension is there. We're gonna open and see that we have it and now you can actually click on it and create a new wallet. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this because the next phase through here will be actually to, to pass off the seed phrase, which I'm not gonna let you see. But make sure you write down your seed phase cause, uh, uh, phrase because that's very important. So I'm gonna do a little skip here and a little edit and I'll see you on the other side. Okay, back, so if everything went to plan, you gave your uh, wallet a name, you put in a password, and then jotted down your uh, seed phrase and put it in a safe location because you do not want that to be taken. And once you do, you'll be prompted to connect it. After you've done that, you are now connected to the space. And we've been put into, this is just like a giant look at the actual, we're on the main net, and we're actually looking at the wallet as a large sort of uh, uh, icon in this, in this world here. but. If we go back to the Terra Station, we can click on the connect. We may actually have to refresh it. So we're gonna refresh the Terra Station now that we have the wallet. Let's make sure that the extension, let's pin that extension here. And so I can see it that it's actually showing up. Click on the extension inside of it and we're looking at that same sort of window that was directly, you know, it was basically opening a browser window for the wallet. So here we go. It natively wants to give you these two right off the bat, UST and Luna. These are gonna be two of the predominant ones you're gonna use in a lot of situations. So from here, you can just easily connect uh, and right there, your option is now where it didn't have before. It was like view wallet, you can now connect it. Um, I'm gonna connect it, it's gonna ask for password. So I'll probably cut here again too. Oh, didn't even ask for it because it's already gone through. So I've just connected it, boom, it's connected. And if I actually had any UST or Luna on here, I could start uh, staking, swapping. I can actually go here. If I had some UST that I'd bought from somewhere else, I could change that over for Luna onto this network and it would show up inside of my wallet, which I can always access in the little coin browser over here. So. That was just a little video on how to make a Terra Station wallet. And that is the exact same one that you will use to connect to Anchor Protocol and any other dApps within uh, the uh, Terra ecosystem. Uh, stay tuned for other videos on kind of how to actually connect to the Anchor Protocol. I'll have that one somewhere coming up at the end here. Um, and I'll actually walk you through the process of getting some USD, let's do conversion from American dollars on purchasing from a deck and we'll go all the way to the anchor protocol and uh, see if we can actually get some money staking and making 20%. So thank you for checking it out and I'll see you in the next one.